We got a lot to talk about. That severe weather outlook as we head into the afternoon is going to continue to be our top story here on Weather Nation, stretching from the upper Midwest all the way down into central Texas. Our bullseye of severe weather is that enhanced risk right there around Kansas all the way south into the Red River Valley. That's where we're going to see a bulk of these storms, but don't rule out these other areas. The way the SPC puts it is that you can still see tornadoes and damaging hail and damaging winds in the this darker green area, the marginal risk for severe weather, but it just becomes more and more frequent as you go up in each radian. So as you zoom in, as you get down or as I zoom in and as we get down into places like Tulsa, Oklahoma City and Wichita Falls, that's where we're going to see the most storm activity as we head into tonight. Now, I did say tonight. We'll get to that in just a second, but as we get to the enhanced, it does actually mean that we are talking numerous severe storms possible, a few tornadoes, a little bit of wind damage, and hail up to the size of about two inches. And the deal with today's storms is we have quite a bit of upper atmospheric support. So a lot of gusty winds along that jet as it's leaving, and that as, as that storm turns into a little bit of a line starts to bow out a little bit as we head into the night. Hail potential as these storms really start to fire off. It's that cold air overhead that's really going to help support that hail, but we can't rule out an isolated tornado. So with that being said, you got to stay prepared.